In this video, I wanna share a really cool way that will enable you to leverage artificial intelligence tools to create YouTube scripts that drive more views and keep people engaged for longer. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna share a tool that will even create the videos for you. So let's get cracking. Now the trouble with most videos online is that they tell you to jump into something like ChatGPT, ask it to write a video script on a specific topic, and then use what ChatGPT spits out. But unfortunately, that isn't going to create you a script that is any good. ChatGPT has to be treated like a new member of staff. If somebody were to join a company, they'd need to be trained first before they can produce work of good quality. So in order for you to get ChatGPT to create good results, you need to train it the way that you want it to work. Now, in order to train it, you need to understand the outcome. So let's look here at what an ideal YouTube script looks like from a 30,000 foot level. The first thing you need to do is hook the viewer immediately. No intros, no rambling. So right at the start of your video, you want to say something like this. In this video, I'm going to share with you my easy five minute amazing banana smoothie recipe and show you step by step how to make it. By doing that, the person that's watching the video knows immediately that they're in the right place. If you have your logo flying around the screen or a long rambling self-introduction, people are going to leave the video more quickly. From here, you can do a brief self-introduction. So if we come down here and look at this example, hey, it's Claire Jones with Amazing Smoothies where we share all the best smoothie tips and recipes so that you can lead a healthier life. So this just introduces you and your brand. It's very quick. You can say this in a couple of seconds. Now, a great tip is to then add something else, an extra, to entice people to stick around for the entire video. So for example, make sure to stick around till the end as I'll share a little known ingredient that will make any smoothie taste that little bit better and give you a shot of vitamin C too. So people that are interested in this topic are more likely to stay around to the end. Just don't forget to share that tip at the end of the video. Next comes the actual content where you deliver what the viewer came for. You can use lists, for example, top five something, best three ways, step one, step two, etc. This is going to vary depending on the content of your video, what it is you want to convey, but this is the most important stuff. And then you have the call to action at the end. What do you want somebody to do next? Maybe it's to subscribe, click a link, download a gift, visit your website. That is going to be entirely up to you. And just before that, or just after that, you can then talk about that extra thing. So in this case, if we go back, this is where I then talk about the little extra ingredient that makes the smoothie taste better and give you a shot of vitamin C too. If you follow this process when you're creating your YouTube video scripts, it's gonna be tighter and it's gonna keep people engaged and on your videos for longer. This is why we need to train ChatGPT to create scripts that follow this process. So let's hop into ChatGPT and do that right now. So here we are inside of ChatGPT, which we're gonna to use to help us write our script. I have access to GPT-4. If you don't have that, then you'll have to use 3.5, which they're getting rid of soon, I believe. Four is just faster and quicker, but it does cost $20 per month. You can use the free version, just be aware it's a bit slower, and sometimes you can't log in because they've just got too many users at any one time. Now again, what a lot of people will do and what a lot of YouTube videos will tell you to do is come down here and just say, write me a YouTube video script and then just provide a topic or a title and hit go. And that is not gonna give you anything that works. We need to train ChatGPT first and give it information before we can expect it to write us a decent script. So I'm gonna open up this Google Doc and first I want to give it this one here. Now we're gonna pretend that we're writing a YouTube video script about banana smoothies. So I'm gonna copy this here. You are a direct response copywriting professional and expert. You will help me write a script for a YouTube video for a video about banana smoothies. Please don't write a script yet, just confirm you understand. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna paste this in here, we're gonna hit enter, and we want ChatGPT just to say that it understands, and you can see it's just basically paraphrasing what we've said 
could you please provide more details? So again, we're gonna provide all this right now, but first of all, we're gonna come back here. I want to give it more information. So I wanna provide it with information on copywriting and just I've provided three copywriting formulas. We've got John Carlton, Eugene Swartz and Dan Kennedy. So I'm gonna come back here. Okay, and then I'm also going to copy this as well because I don't want it to start writing. If you don't say this, oftentimes ChatGPT will just go ahead and do something and we don't want it to do that. Okay, yes, I understand. So now I'm going to give it some information. So let me just copy this when writing. Let's make sure that we got rid of that little typo there. No, okay, so let's copy that again, copy and we're gonna paste this in here. Before we hit enter, we'll let these, let it kind of carry on typing and I'll walk you through this. When writing the script, please break it into these sections, hook, introduction, extra, main content, and call to action. And I'm just gonna give it a bit of information because extra doesn't really say anything, does it? So here you will entice people to stick around to the end of the video. Okay, and we just come down and I've given it some information about me and my channel. This is not a real channel, it's fictional, I've just made it up, but the name, I've got Claire Jones, my channel name, Amazing Smoothies, the video title and the main call to action. And then I'm gonna come back up here and just copy this. And again, I want it to confirm that it understands. It's already told me that it understands these copywriting systems. Okay, I understand, okay. So, again, it's just confirming that. Please write the script. Ideally, I would speak for three to five minutes and let's see what it spits out okay so let's actually pause the video while it writes the script and then i'll come back in a second okay so now we've got a really cool script that chat gpt has written for us so let's have a quick look at this script it starts with a hook want to know the secret to making the perfect banana smoothie stick around and i'll show you how it's done straight to the point if somebody goes to YouTube and types in something related to how to make a banana smoothie, and that's the first thing that the person says, they know they're in the right place. And it even gives us ideas on how we can create the video. Clip of Claire blending a delicious looking banana smoothie with uplifting music playing. Introduction. Hello smoothie lovers, Claire Jones here from Amazing Smoothies. If you're new to this channel, we're all about making delicious, healthy, and super easy smoothies. Again, a nice introduction. Extra, stay with me till the end because I have a special freebie that will turn even the most novice blender user into a smoothie making pro. So again, it entices people. We don't know exactly what this is. So this is something that's gonna be shared towards the end of the video. And then we've got the main content. Today we're focusing on a classic, the banana smoothie. It's delicious, nutritious treat that's perfect anytime. So let's get started. Here are the five steps to making an amazing banana smoothie. Now it gives us the five steps and it shows what you should do. But again, you're gonna to have to take this script, maybe copy and paste it into a Google Doc and just play around with it, edit it a little bit. Don't use it exactly as it is because there are gonna be little bits that you'll want to change, omit or add, but it's given us the base of a great script. And then we've got the call to action. Before we wrap up, I have something special for you. If you love this recipe and want more, click the link below to download my free smoothie beginner guide. It's packed with tips, tricks and recipes to help you make the best smoothies. And then don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. Until next time, keep blending. So now we've got the basis of a really cool script that we can then play around with and add to. Now, of course, the actual main part of the video, we're gonna to have to put a little bit of work in to add some words that we're gonna say, but it gives us an idea of the kind of scenes that we can have. Now, once I've got my script ready, What's the next step? Well, personally, I would use Audacity, which is free, works on a Mac or a PC, and I just record the audio myself if I didn't want to do a talking head style video, 
Or another option is to head over to Fiverr and just pay somebody to read the script aloud for you. You can choose whether you want somebody that is male, female, that speaks British English, American English, or something different. If you want to use stock footage, then Storyblocks is great. You do have to pay for this service, but I've just typed in banana smoothie and I can download any of these clips that I want or all of them. So for example, this one here, I can just click on this download button and I can choose the format that I'd like to download it and then just download it here. And then I can add this into any video editing tool along with my voice voiceover, and then I can create the video. Now, if you'd like to use an online video editing tool that provides you with a bunch of images and provides you with clips and all of that stuff, and then you can upload your audio and sync everything together, then there'll be a little video that appears to the top right. Click on that and you can see the tool that I recommend. But other than that, hopefully you've got some value from this video. ChatGPT is great, but you still have to teach it to create stuff that you're looking for. It's no good just going in there and saying, do this and hitting enter because it's gonna try, but it's probably not gonna give you the best results. Thank you for watching. I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you soon.